the low duck everyone it's me again penny i know i've been you know absent for a while but like after covid kind of winded down i would just kind of went back to normal life and um the movie watching and stuff kind of stopped but i missed it i really missed it so i came back and i was like i have to do this again i, I really miss watching these movies and and um doing these reviews uh, but i don't know not i know not a lot of people watch them but here i am anyway so hey i watched this movie called american poltergeist um american poltergeist your home now and the way i procured this movie <laughs> was through uh trivia which is like pop-up question thing that i won so because i've never fucking heard about this and i was like it has to be random as shit it starts off with this little introduction that says over the course of five days, a group of friends experienced one of the deadliest poltergeist in American history. After a full investigation by authorities, there were no suspects. And then it goes like, this is their story. Like, okay, so it was like, oh true story or, or some shit um, so it starts off with um there's a girl on top of a chair and she's like trying to off herself and she goes i love you and then she jumps from the chair and kills herself and as soon as she does that fucking Reagan pops up and, and and it's a credit so anyway present day <laughs> there's like a road trip and it's between these two dudes and they're driving they're driving along and one of them's like oh how'd you find out how'd you find out about this house and um, the other guy's like, oh, Taryn, oh, she is, you know, she found out about this house and um, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> so they get to the house and it goes, <laughs> and they go to the house. It's like two dudes right now. And then there's like fucking four chicks. And Taryn, the one that the one dude was talking about, someone knocks on the door and um, fucking housewife of Beverly Hills answers the door and she asks them like what school they're from and all that shit. Um, the house has like a bar. It's got like um what do you call those? Jukeboxes. One of the girls goes in and she wants to use the bathroom and she goes and then she goes to the bathroom and like she sees things happening. She thinks it's Michael, her brother. And she's like Michael mama but it's not him. Anyway, they all go around looking at stuff and they go to a bedroom that had a bunch of dolls and these dolls are fucking laughing at that bitch. You have a little girl? No kids. Taryn, the sister, main bitch, she goes and steals one of the dolls. The, the brother was like, hey, can we get a key to this door so that we can put our shit in there? And she's like, no. We never had a key to that door. It's it's always locked. And he's like, okay, okay. <laughs> there, one of the bitches is outside. I think it's the blonde bitch. Anyway, she like the cop comes in and she's he's like, hey, no, and she's like, what's up? And then he's like, hey, well, welcome to blah blah blah. And she's like, okay, thanks. So the the girls are in the room, just chilling. Fucking Mrs. Robinson's down there chopping lettuce. And like she puts a knife down and she, and the knife like moves it's like psh, psh. but it doesn't affect her <laughs> like she's just like okay whatever and during dinner she asks how everybody knows everybody yes, and i met this one at fucking home Ec, and i met this one at and jen over here taught me how to do the cleveland hot waffle that's how we met 
It's just the wind. And then, like, fucking Taryn, like, I fucks her brother. And it's like, oh, that's so weird. Taryn and the blonde bitch share a bed. And the TV turns on. And I know, why is that TV turning on? Who knows? Who, who the fuck knows? Taryn grabs, she, of course, like, when, a, when you get up in the middle of the night and you're... TV turns on, you automatically go fucking, fucking find a knife, right? That's what she did. She goes and finds a knife, and she goes over to her brother and his girlfriend's, like, room. She goes to the basement, and there's, like, a jump scare. The jump scare is, um, she finds, like, two people dead. But she walks by, and she sees Nikki, who is her boyfriend's. Her boyfriend. Her brother's girlfriend. And she's like, hey, Nikki. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> and Nikki's standing there like, like, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> uh, she brings her to, she brings Nikki back to her bedroom. And it goes day three. And then it, get, <laughs> it goes to the pool. Where it has, you know, the brother and Nikki and, like, their little forced, no chemistry banter. <laughs> so, the blonde bitch looks around. She sees, like, this fucking Ronald McDonald looking ass. And she shakes some pictures. And she's like, oh. And she tries to look back at the pictures, but she couldn't find them at that moment. Sure. What the fuck is her name? The sister. Fucking I mean, seriously, whatever the fuck her name is. Anyway, she goes and she starts talking to her brother. And um and the brother says like, Oh, Nikki, Nikki has a disorder. She's got like some kind of sleep disorder. Shaggy is making hot dogs and burgers. There's like all these chicks in their bikinis. And they hear a banging. They hear a banging doorbell ring and it's the cop guy the cop guy says do you think one of them is the kids and she says yes i know one of them is and he, they all get back like the day later i went to a trip to the lake or some shit they're like oh we yeah we gotta go grocery shopping for uh nikki's birthday party that's coming up and then Shaggy's like, no, nah, I can't go because cause church shit. And they're like, okay, peace. Grandma has a seizure in the tub. And then that fucking creepy ghost person's like chilling watching her. And Ta Taryn has a dream about the suicide girl. And then she says like, she's got bruises and whatnot. Taryn is home alone because everybody's out, you know, doing their shopping. And she goes up to um, the basement where she finds like this tackle box. And the tackle box has like all this information and like these newspaper clippings. And she finds out about the Lizzie Borden. And she finds out about like something is not right in this house. And she finds. A birth certificate with her name on it and she finds that those guys are her parents so she knows she's part of that Lizzie Borden family Diane the, the old bitch comes home and talks to Taryn and Taryn's like what the fuck you knew about this the whole fucking time <laughs> yeah like your like your dad was my husband blah 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 so like that's her stepdaughter or something like that she's like yeah her i guess her mother offed herself and she's like i'm leaving i i'm, I'm leaving she tries uh, she tries to leave she's like hey she she goes out there and she's like hey everyone everyone big announcement i'm leaving crickets <laughs> oh yeah she goes into the car one of the cars and she's trying to leave right the car won't start 
that was her car. So she goes to her, she goes back into the house and she goes to her brother and she's like, give me your keys. My car won't start. And so he's like, okay. He just gives her her fucking keys. And she's like, okay. She goes in there, tries to start it. No, it will not start. And then she goes right back in there and she's like, she asks one of the other, other guys that are there, Shaggy, still will not work. And she's like, well, fuck. Oh yeah. She did ask her brother for Sage when he was like, hey, what do you want me to get you while I'm out? And she's like, Sage. And he never got the Sage. And he's like, well, they didn't have Sage. Okay. So they're at the, the pool and they're all talking about like things and stuff. Uh, talking about this guy that this girl that sh shaggy liked <clears throat> and then one of the girls is like oh it wouldn't work out you're catholic she's jewish it just wouldn't work out Ooh. they they talked about how like the lizzie borden was supposed to come back on her anniversary so that's a big thing do you not know you live in the infamous lizzie borden house who the fuck's lizzie borden the fuck bitch <sighs> Some Asian chick is just like snorting coke randomly. She never, I don't know, she'll come up later, but like it makes no sense. So the brother goes to like that bar that I was talking about, like that, that place has a bar. And he takes like a shot and he falls asleep and, and there's this girl and she's like curly haired chick. And she tries to leave, and she gets killed. <laughs> like, these people are like running around looking for, looking with axes, um, for Nikki. <laughs> the blonde chick gets taken. Like she gets like, ah, uh, stereotypical, stupid, whatever. They find her. The cop comes. Cop says they can't escape. And Diane is in, yeah, sorry, she's in panties. Um, the exorcism, they have a stupid ass exorcism. He like cries black tears. He dies a stupid death. Mrs. Robinson's possessed and the cop gives Shaggy's gun and uh, you'll see what happens next. Day five. Day Taryn holds door. Oh, da -da! Well, Taryn goes down the steps and she sees the cop and she sees someone blow their brains out. She's like, why? What's going on? And he says that it's because, you know, she's the last of the Borden clan. Diane cries hilariously with no tears like that. And Taylor, or whatever the hell her name is, turns out to be evil. I'm home now. Yeah, it sucked. It felt like porn actors. <laughs> Except for like the old lady, she felt like, I felt like she was like, I never looked her up, but I felt like she might have been one of the housewives of Beverly Hills that wanted an acting like career. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. It was awful. Let's read some reviews, shall we? An hour of my life I'll never get back. Worse than Sharknado. This is the worst movie ever made. Am I being punked? Oh. There were some parts that were really funny. I laughed out loud at some of the deaths. <laughs> Hope you all had a good night and I'll see you later.